Hey guys, it's Neil with The Verge. I'm here with the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Uh, it looks very much like the previous MacBook Pro, only it is far, far thinner uh, because it emits the optical drive. Uh, it's got some new ports here. It's, it's got the new MagSafe port. It's got two Thunderbolt ports, USB 3. On the other side, it's got an HDMI port, obviously SD card slot, and another USB 3. Um, obviously, the, the big change here is the Retina Display. Uh, this has an effective resolution of 1280 by 800, but because it's pixel doubled, you can't see the pixels. It looks amazing. You can also run it at 1680 by 1050, which is the resolution of the old 15-inch MacBook Pro, which is great. So this has a lot of potential for Pro users. If you have a 15-inch MacBook Pro, there's uh, you have every reason to look at this. And particularly important is this thing seems to perform really, really well. Uh, so we put together kind of an insane test here. I've got GarageBand open. Uh, I've got a, the 1080p Iron Man 3 trailer, and I've got Aperture with a 21 megapixel RAW file open. This is the CPU monitor. You can see all four cores are kind of barely doing anything. I'm going to start Iron Man. I'm going to start GarageBand. Uh, this is a cacophony of sound. And I'm going to start scrolling around in Aperture. Let's get Iron Man open here. Uh, and you can see everything's just kind of working pretty well, and the CPU is only about at half. So although it has integrated graphics, Intel HD 4000 graphics, uh, and it's pushing this ultra high resolution screen, uh, performance seems to be actually really great, uh, erasing kind of a big worry people had about those graphics powering this display. So that is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. Uh, it's a great product. Uh, if you're like me and you have a 15 inch MacBook Pro, uh, you have a, a whole new reason to want a smaller computer.